We've had uh, a fisheries down on the Carp Society Lakes for the last couple of days. We've uh, first of all we ran the net through uh, the bottom end, the road bank end of Summer Bay. The aim of that was to uh, try and remove some silvers that were in there. There's uh, a local club that have been crying out for a few silver fish. We've got some that we don't necessarily want, so we uh, we ran the net through there and. Uh, had a great net full there. We must have had five, six hundred pound of uh, rudd and roach, probably average size, six inches. There are a few bigger, a few smaller. So uh, yeah, we got them and uh, we moved them out. So that, as well as helping the club out, it creates a bit more room in Horseshoe for the uh, carp to grow on, which is primarily what everyone goes there for. So uh, yeah, we had a great day yesterday. Then today we're down here at Little Farriers. The idea down here really was just to run the net through, just to check on the fish really. It's uh, not to remove any, but uh, just to see how they're doing really. It's, it's sort of good fishery management really, to keep your eye on your stock. And uh, we had some really, really nice fish, uh, hopefully you'll see in the clips. Uh, quite interestingly, the, uh, this water, like the main Farris Lake, is uh, predominantly a commons water. But 80% of the fish that we've got in the net now were uh, mirrors. So uh, I know when we brought the net halfway in, we had quite a lot more fish than we actually got to. And uh, the big common were in there that goes over 40 pounds. And uh, unfortunately, it escaped somewhere along the line. But <laughs> by and by, I'm happy with the two days we've had. Uh, it's, uh, it's done what we've wanted to. And uh, the fishing here are in excellent condition. So uh, yeah, it's all good. And uh, thanks to uh, Andrew, Ben and uh, young Dave, it's uh, it's all good.